Hello everyone, it's Birdie here, the Recycled Hippie Chick. Barry, this it, video is for you. I have dried my papers here. Uh, these are papers that I tested out my watercolors on. And I was just seeing mushrooms in them and I forgot I had told Barry I would show him how I make my paper mushrooms. Um, I totally learned this from Janet Nash. So if you want to watch the pro do it, go to Janet Nash's video and watch her. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to show Barry real quick how I do it. Okay. I'm actually going to... Uh, okay. I'm going to use this for one. So I'm going to go ahead and get it out because I like the colors. Barry, you can use magazines, painty papers, you name it. Sky is the limit for your mushrooms, okay? You can make them as funky or as realistic. However you want to do it, you do you. So let me show you. Okay. I'm going to show you the Janet Nash way, and I'm going to show you the birdie way. And you will come up with the berry way, because we all add our own little twist to it and uh, to make it our own. Now, Janet has a template. Let's just use this jar. Janet has a template for her tops. And what she does is she just draws around anything circular. Okay. She cuts it out. And then she cuts it in half and that's her mushroom. That's her mushroom top. Okay, and then she takes, I don't remember, Jana, if you had a template for the bottom or not. Well, anyway, she, she does hers more straight like this, like a, kind of like a tall triangle, and bada bing, bada boom, Barry, you have yourself a mushroom. Now, what you do with this mushroom is totally where you're going to make it your own. Glue that on there. Let's say you want to embellish it and take a sticker. And you want to stick it on your mushroom somehow. There you go. Isn't that adorable? Let's say you want to add some, you know, trim around. Just make it pop with some ink pen. Or marker or whatever you want to do. There you go. Then you can just make you up a bunch of mushrooms and have them ready for your art journals. I keep thinking I have a, something climbing up my leg and I don't. Okay, let's see over here. Um, what do we have here? I wanted something that maybe I could show you. You can stamp on the bottom. Just using the stamp I already have laying here. I don't have my little acrylic thing, I, but I'm going to use the lid to my watercolor, <laughs> my watercolor lid. And let's just put a little stamp at the bottom, anything. See, isn't it adorable? They're so fast and fun. You're going to be addicted. Get started on them today, Barry. Now, let's do one birdie style, okay? I 
I don't have a template. I don't make mine round. Every one of mine look completely, well, hers look completely different also, but I just take like, oh, that looks like a pretty color for a stem. So I make mine, you know, a little more rounded at the top, let's say. A little more rounded at the bottom. And then I just start cutting out. I make my bottoms kind of crooked. I make my tops just a little odd shaped. Because, remember, this is therapy for me. And I'm trying not to be so uniform. I'm forcing myself to make things off or crooked or grungy. So this is part of me working with my own brain. So you find what, what helps you. And I will even cock mine over and make it look crooked on top just to get out of my head space. That's why I've been working on making these, you know, outlines, scribbly outlines around stuff. I'm not going to be able to put a stamp on the bottom of mine because mine is so dark. But let's see if I can't. I'm just going to, you know, I'm literally not even saying, oh, will this look good on there? I'm really just looking at my stickers as to what will fit on there. So I just grab off whatever fits because I don't want to think about stuff too much. And I just stick it on. See, aren't those fun? Janet does a video of hers too, if you want to look it up. Janet Birdie. And see, they just both blend together very nicely. So I save those and have them on hand for when I want them. And of course, you know, I forget where I've stuck them. So they're just laying around now. They'll probably just sit in a pile for a while. I need things right in front of me, like in these little containers that say mushrooms, paper buttons, this, that, and the other, where I can just reach in front of me and get it and, and put it on my whatever creation I'm doing. Here's some leaves. Let's do them on our, our next one. Oh, that's a great big. Well, I'm just going to cut it. This is going to be too big. For... Well, I just cut that. I just ripped that. Look at that. I'm just tearing that sticker up. Well, that's just going to have to be for a master board because I've just totally... totally messed that one up. Okay, let's do this. Well, it'll fit. We'll just make a couple of them while we're here. Let's see here. Where's my scissors? I really, it just depends on your paper, you know? You cut it out according to how much space you have on your paper and so you can use every bit of it. Isn't that fun? I love it. Something you can just sit and do. I had a magazine the other night. I just sat in there at the couch and I just started cutting. Cutting bottoms, cutting tops and out of stuff that looked like mushroomy colors that I liked in magazines. And of course, this was a piece of painty paper that I had. So it's just so fun. I mean, I can sit and do that in front of the TV and it can be mindless. See, I just have room on here for another base, so I'm just going to cut it out. Now, 
You want a tall mushroom? Make you a tall mushroom. Some of these are so dark, they would look good with white pen on them. Some of those stickers that you don't necessarily like, stick them on your mushroom and it brings a whole new light to it, you know? It just gives it a whole new dimension. And those stickers that you didn't think were very cute now are adorable on the mushroom. I'm going to put a butterfly on this one with my stamp. Isn't that fun? I'm going to probably get carried away. I mean, that's what I'll... I'll sit here and cut out mushrooms now for the next hour. Little ones, big ones. You know, there's so many different shapes of mushrooms out there. You can't say, oh no, I messed that one up. No, you didn't. There's a mushroom out there that looks like that somewhere. My little uh, smaller than a dollar. Oh, look, this, see, this would be cute too. There's already a, a stamp on that one. I'm just going to make the bottom a little. Beautiful. Aren't those fun? Let's make this one a great big one. Look at this picture. Look at, see this piece of wood on here? Well, wouldn't that make a cute little stem? Isn't it cute? And then embellishing them, you know, is fun too. Putting stamps on them, stickers, drawing whatever you want. See, that looks kind of boring, but once you st start embellishing them, they just come to life. What would it look like if we did a, a green one? Okay, so that means, Barry, that I'm probably going to see some mushrooms in your future on Instagram, right? No pressure. No pressure. Not. You better put some mushrooms on there, mister, so we can see the beauty you've created. It's just a great way to get rid of your scraps because look at that. Yeah, it's definitely a great way to get rid of your scraps. There we go. And I'll sit and embellish these and have fun. Have fun, Barry. Bye-bye from Birdie.